At Rainbow Mealworms, we grow all our insects 100% naturally so that you get the freshest, most lively feeders on the market. So for all your reptile food needs, place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net. Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So if you haven't watched my vlogs yet, that link is in the description below. Check it out. But if you have, you know that the chief of the Kanak here in New Caledonia has been driving us out to these islands, boating us out to these islands, whatever, but what I didn't know is that his son is actually a sea turtle researcher. So today the chief is gonna take us out to a sea turtle research area. So come with me and let's go play with some sea turtles here in New Caledonia. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles. And I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. of manta ray down here that I can't get a good shot of from up here. Look at that thing. I'm going in. in these waters. This one happens to be a big loggerhead. Hawksbills are my favorite, so hopefully we'll be able to find a hawksbill out here as well. Oh, he's just such a big, beautiful fool. So what these turtles do is they cruise the reef 
reefs amongst all this sand. So this bright turquoise blue water is just the color of the water over the sand. And it's lined by all the reefs and the turtles will sit and rest right on the sandy bottom. Then they'll cruise to the reefs and find something to eat and then they'll come right back to the sandy bottom and just stay there so they're really easy to spot when you just cruise around these uh, sand flats here and we're I don't know kind of right out in the middle of the ocean here on this reef in the middle this is where the turtles just kind of hang out so again it's really easy to find them in this scenario more so than just scuba diving a reef and hope that you find one <laughs> That one might be a hawk spill out there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Another loggerhead. Yeah, I know. I had to tread water and deal with even the last one. Oh, another beautiful loggerhead. Got him? That is fantastic. Well, you get some for me? Not our hawk still, but it's a beautiful loggerhead. Oh, wonderful. sitting here dancing <laughs> but he's just so chill and just sitting here hanging out with us this is unbelievable when you get a chance there you go buddy it is amazing to me just how absolutely calm these huge loggerhead turtles are he's just we're not even handling him and he's just swimming with us right now that's amazing what? Good, good for turtle, yes. <laughs> Guys, let's let him go. Are we done with him? Alright, here we go guys. Come on. Let's go over here. Oh, don't go there. Let's go back out to the ocean. Come on. Come on. Alright, so two loggerheads so far. This is probably the most incredible reptile adventure I've ever had. Oh, Rattlers, I gotta tell you, that was probably one of the single greatest reptile experiences I've ever had. And not only that, but 
Seeing a family so dedicated to togetherness and protecting and educating people about wildlife and especially about sea turtles. So we did see a hawk's bill, but we were too slow to catch them. But at least I got to see one in the wild. But those two loggerheads, I asked to see if they were GPSed because he knew exactly where they'd be in this whole ocean. And he said, no, he doesn't have them GPSed. The turtles are creatures of habit. They're going to be in that exact same area, that time of day, every single day of the year. I never knew that about sea turtles. That was an incredible learning experience for me. Hopefully it was an incredible learning experience for you guys as well. So comment below, let me know what your favorite sea turtle is. And until the next adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. <laughs>